welcome to my channel. If you're an artist and you're anything like me, you've probably struggled with discouragement on your art journey. And I wanted to create this little video to hopefully give some tips and advice on how I've um, dealt with the reoccurring discouragement uh, and hopefully they can be helpful for you in your journey. I'm definitely not an expert on the topic, but just from my personal experience, I thought I would just share and um, hopefully it can be useful for you. My number one advice would be to zoom out um, on the lens of your journey and start per start perceiving it in a different way. So, so often it's easy to look at the micro, like what's right in front of us, and it's hard to really see the full progress over time, but if you really zoom out, you can see that over time you have progressed and this might be hard to do when um, a lot of times for me what triggers discouragement moment is a painting not going how it's how I wanted it to go and so it makes me really feel really down um, but you have to really zoom out as far as you need to and even look back as far as you need to in your art journey to recognize that you have progressed over time and try to look at it in um, a different perspective of you are progressing and the best thing to do is really to compare your art journey with yourself and stay away from looking at others because that can really cause a lot of discouragement if you're gleaning um, you know, your, your value as an artist on other people's art journeys. And just look at your art journey and take zoom out your lens. Number two would be to uh, remember that you're gonna go up and down and you'll eventually feel better so try not to get into just a self-destructive like oh I'm just you know like destroy your painting or I mean I guess that you could do that but try to remember that it is gonna go up eventually and try to you know not focus on the moment of feeling discouraged but recognize you know just kind of embrace feeling it and it'll eventually pass over you so um yeah, that would be my second tip of advice. My third little tip would be to, um, is actually two opposite ideas, would be painting through the feelings of discouragement or taking a break. I would say it really just based on, um, depends on where you're at um, in your head, because sometimes you can use that feeling of discouragement and use it to fuel your art project and just a new, <laughs> just a new gust of like inspiration of like, I'm feeling this way, but I'm gonna use that feeling to my advantage and put it into my painting. Or the contrary would just be like, take a step away, like do what you need to do, hide your painting, um, stay out of your art space, just don't even think about it, try to disconnect and distract yourself from something else. And then once you come back, you can get a fresh perspective on uh, what's what's going on and and the discouragement might have already uh, passed over by that point so my uh, next piece of advice would be I already touched on this which is just be really conscious of your social media uh, consumption and what accounts you're following and how useful they are for your art journey and progression and it's completely okay to just unfollow or just um, snooze for a while certain accounts that make you feel bad about yourself. I know that might seem like you're entertaining those feelings of jealousy, but I really think it's good for the mental health just to follow accounts that are that make you feel encouraged and inspired. But if they're making you feel bad about yourself and your personal art journey, like it's okay to take that break and there's no shame in that. And even if you need to completely just get off social media altogether, just for even a day or whatever amount of time is useful for you. So that's definitely helped me a lot in the past. And lastly, um, this is just something to remember when you're fighting through discouragement, is to remember that your what you do and the art you make and your profession is not your identity. And you kind of have to separate the two. Like if your painting doesn't go well, it doesn't mean you're just awful as a person or you don't know what you're doing or it's just so easy to connect as an artist to connect the two and think that um, the painting is like part of your self-worth or something and but I think it's really helpful to just remember to 
disconnect the two and not to like, um, you know, not to put your identity and your worth into how well you can paint and how your art journey is going because that is definitely not the case and um, as a as a, a Christian um, I really believe my worth is in the Lord and in Christ and who he says I am and so if you're a believer as well I think that is something to just always remember as you're um, struggling with discouragement is that you know your worth is as a child of God um, valuable and uh, worth worth um, worth love and acceptance and and you are chosen and known before before creation he knew you um he has a plan for your life um a good and a good and perfect plan and um one to um, help you and not harm you and just like the different things that we can really put our our faith in and our hope in so that it can really fight off those um, bouts of discouragement is to just really refocus, just pray and spend time with God. And uh, that can probably lead into more inspiration for your art in the end. So yeah. These are my tips for dealing with discouragement. I hope that um, they can be helpful. Yeah, so this was my art studio channel. I'm fairly new on YouTube. I don't really have many subscribers, so I may even just use this video as a reminder for myself when I'm feeling discouraged to go back and look at this. And um, yeah, cause, but if you're here and you just found my channel or something, I'm so, so happy you're here and you're amazing. And I, um, I'm so sorry that you're most likely struggling with discouragement since you clicked this video, or maybe you're being proactive about it and just wanna get some tools to, um, beforehand be um so whenever you may have a discouragement that you can be ready for it but either way whatever reason um i just want to say thank you so much for being here and i'm so grateful for you and i would love if you'd subscribe and follow along on my journey i'm posting videos like this like helpful videos for artists um just filling people in on my art journey and I like t I'm doing time lapse videos with just paintings I've made and we're kind of just just an overall art channel so yeah so I I'd love if you would follow along if you're interested in all that and anyway thank you so much bye